I went to a C2ST speakeasy, a talk given by my good buddy Bill Higgins, a physicist with Fermilab. Bill is also a solar system ambassador for NASA. And Bill was talking to us about the latest pictures and discoveries about Pluto as delivered from the New Horizons space vehicle, which flew by Pluto in July. And there are all kinds of great things about Pluto. Great news, fabulous images, including the heart of Pluto. But my big takeaway from Bill's talk is barycentric orbiting. So it turns out that Pluto's moon, Charon, Pluto has five moons, but its largest moon, Charon, is about half the mass of Pluto, as opposed to Earth's moon, which is about a 1% of the mass, 1.2%. So because our moon is so much less massive than us, our planet, our moon basically orbits the Earth. But because Charon and Pluto are so much closer in mass, Charon does not orbit Pluto, but both Pluto and Charon orbit their barycenter, the center of the gravitational attractive force between them. And that's how it works in love. My marriage does not work by my wife revolving or orbiting around me, though I sometimes wish it would. Uh, it doesn't even work by my orbiting around her, although it really should. The fact is that our relationship works because it is centered and orbits around that which attracts us, our love. We orbit the center of our hearts, so we orbit the center of our love, the thing that attracts us, just as Charon and Pluto orbit the center of the thing that attracts them, gravity. So that is what I learned about love from my good buddy Bill Higgins' talk on the astrophysics of the New Horizons spacecraft. Yeah.